I think Orlando, outside of being hot, it's actually pretty cool. There's water everywhere except for my fear of alligators. I'm doing all right. I think it's pretty chill. The area is real nice. Florida is just always hot, so it's pretty uh, similar to where I'm from, Atlanta. I'm used to it, but I hear a lot of people walking around complaining. I hate Orlando. Orlando's ass. The weather is ass. The humidity's ass. I come from a place that's dry and warm and sunny and bright. Here it's sunny and bright, but it feels terrible. I never want to leave my room. I always want to be indoors. But other than that, it's just basically uh, southern weather. The area is real nice. They have all those uh, Florida theme park attractions. There's a lot of stuff to get into, whether you want to eat, whether you want to go out, just hang out by the pool or whatever. CEO is amazing. Uh, it's one of the funnest tournaments of the year always. You know, super hype. I'm, I'm kind of a wrestling fan, so it's kind of wrestling themed. They got the entrances, they got the stages, you know, and the competition here is insane, of course, especially for Tekken this year. It's nice to see everybody finally enjoying the game, learning the game, and really leveling up their knowledge of the game. So it's really good to actually be here with the Tekken fans and seeing that a lot of people are really enjoying not just playing the game, but also watching the game. It's cool. It's like, it feels like it's, we're supposed, or not supposed to have the game, right? It's like everyone, like, oh, like, I have Tekken 7, I have Tekken 7, like we're sitting at home playing it, and like I wake up, I'm like, yo, I have Tekken 7, like the game's here. It's pretty awesome. I like really enjoy playing the game a lot. Not being able to play it for like three years and watching YouTube videos and watching streams, it sucked. It sucked a lot. So I'm so excited to like actually be able to play it now. It's very fun. I feel like it's like a, some part of my life is back now that uh, T7 is out. You know, it's really nice to see both Michael Murray and Harada here. It's really nice to see them interacting with everyone and they're having a great time. Like they told us there were gonna be surprises in the Rumble, but we didn't know what they were. So when Michael Murray came out, I was like, what? Michael did I then I wasn't even thinking that Harada was gonna enter. I was quite nervous because I played casually for many years before I joined the team, but uh, I was never a tournament player, so I've never played in the spotlight like that. But you know, it was more about having fun. Everyone had their kind of different entrances, the uh, theme music and the funny ways they got into the ring. And I think we need more of that in the Tekken tour. That's something you don't see in maybe the other uh, established esports tours that uh, makes Tekken Tekken. Okay, oh, nice four, two. Uh oh, two hits into the oh, ground. Oh, pizza! One round for Harada. <laughs> So the Tekken World Tour is announced and it's a great partnership that we have going with Twitch to really showcase the community, the community's events, and of course the game itself throughout the course of the year. And it's similar to what you've probably seen through last year's Tekken Tour, we have different regions that are representing. So we have the Americas, Europe, and of course Asia, and we're all going to have a cumulative tour to find out who is going to be, of course, the King of Iron Fist at the end of the year.僕のプランニングではなくて、え、もう海外が独自に、えっと、特にアメリカとヨーロッパが組んでやってるツアーなんですね。で、僕も全然だから逆に詳細を知らされてなかったんですけども、発表されて本当にプレイヤーと同じ
I think the region lock this time, though, we'll, we'll see some of the strong players like Nobi or JDCR Saint, all of those people. I think they'll still fly out to tournaments just to for the experience, but they don't get the points. So I think we'll see some maybe uh, players we don't know up until now. I come into Venezuela. In Venezuela, have a lot of top players. Very, very good. The best guara in the world is in Venezuela. The best Raven in the world is Venezuela. All the people in South America see me in the streaming. Hey, go Fuko, go Fuko, and uh, I win. Could have got more. Good break on the Volcano Buster. Oh, not that looking good Shall for Shall you Pete. enrage now? Un Is that going to do it? It does. And Fuko, Fuko defeats up. Peeling, sending him home, oh, moving oh, on oh, to good. Grand. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Grand Finals. But top, top eight. eight. Koreans, you know, they're they're still the benchmark. They're incredibly good players despite having the game for so long. Like if they got the game the same time as us, they would probably still be doing just as good. A lot of people consider the Koreans the gods of tech. A lot of people watch them for tech. A lot of a lot of people watch them for um, instances of how to become better. You know what? Whenever you have the Echo Fox boys, JDCR and Saint in the building, they're always going to be a threat. But we know for a fact they're not unstoppable. They're not gods. They can be killed. So we saw a final round. They both got sent to the loser's bracket. They, JDCR ended up winning the whole tournament, but Saint didn't even make top eight there. So with the game out now, with the players having more access to it, I have strong hopes and strong desires to see the American contingent really battle it out and do better in these tournaments. I definitely want to play JDCR. I feel like uh, I feel like I can beat them. I feel like we are there. It's just they have the they have the experience on us. They're comfortable. We're not comfortable yet, but um, I feel like I can beat them, and I really want to play him. The Koreans are still the biggest threat. Period. The fact that this top eight in the winter side, we've got Saint and JDCR, and they're going against Anakin and Speedkick. So it's like the Atlanta boys are repping the U.S. against the Koreans. I think that's a super sick winter side top eight. I'm not too sure how Anakin's feeling right now, but I'm very confident in my gameplay, my ability to handle both JDCR and Saint. I know I had a lot of close calls today in the tournament. Speed Kicks did as well. And for JDCR and Saint, it seems like they just coasted to top eight once again. For us, you know, me and Speed Kicks, they really have a chance. We really have to think outside the box. You know, I think it might be a breakout moment for Speed Kicks or Anakin. I feel like both of them historically have had issues with the Koreans. And I think that this might be the event where they finally crack it. So first up, we do have Echo Fox's very own Saint versus Stream Me Anakin. Saints, uh, Shaheen is it too sharp? Missing that, oh, there's oh, the slide. Oh, is that gonna be it? Oh, no. still alive. First round, 18 seconds left on the clock. What's gonna happen? He goes for the slide again, nice punish. I like it. The patience there from Saint. Down 4-1-1, one, one. this is up on the wall. Oh, he's gonna get a resplat right now. You know, and it was a factor uh, too in the previous matchup. Oh, double wow. shoulder. Reset again, drops the rocket kick. This is gonna give Saint a chance. Oh, oh my God, what a whip. He might be able Saint. to pull it off here. If he gets the wall, that should, no, never mind. That's it. Oh my God. What a comeback. Oh, there was a punish opportunity there. Now back one, it's trouble for him right now. Not able to confirm anything. He's gonna convert and that is gonna be the set. 2-0 for Saint. Look at that wave dash, goes right in the stands, gonna get one more. Yeah, follows up with the big lunge kick again. Ugh. Oh, let's go. great that's power be crush. Gets the power crush, L, you are, okay, I'll see you, all right. That was power a great crush. option and a great punish there from Speed Kicks. Looking to close it out here, maybe take this match. Now this is quality right here. Look at the gameplay, trying oh. to get in with the big mid. Now that's what happens, that's that movement. Oh my God, hey man, down you can back tell. to again. You can tell here JDC are playing with the utmost confidence here, not afraid to just wave that to electric. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Not dead yet. Oh, and returns the perfect. Speed Kicks needs this round to stay alive. Oh, electric, Jesus, man, it's so bad. He's too young, it's don't so let bad. him in like this. And that's gonna be the round. Jesus, man. One, two, three, you see that Kenpo step again. I like the patience, hop kick from Rip. Uh, okay. Look at the flips, he's priming him. Oh, oh no, he's trying to catch him ready oh, again. Oh, nice break on the throw by Rip. Another flip, almost 20 seconds left on the clock. Both players in rage. What is about to happen? Dash in, oh my God, double Whoa. KO. But Fab takes it. Yes. Oh, oh he's wow. gonna have to be careful. That Kenpo step, side step 12. That was supposed to be a slide, but maybe not in his favor. What a down 4-2 for the whip punish right there. Be really careful. Goes for the fish hook. The follow up goes for the back one. Oh, oh, wow. Just committed a little too much there. Wild rising to it. No, he fab and closing. Lane. Oh, wow. Got him on the wall. No, Jimmy's a win. Rage on. And Rip still alive. Clapping for himself like he's a man in the audience. 
One more mix-up could do it. No duck there from Rip. Down for two in for Kimbo's dance. Anything is going to do it right now for Fab. He needs to change it up. There's a jab, and that's going to be the match. What a set. The down for two that he can use. Oh, wow. Gets wow. the counter hit. Gets him with the palm into the Iron Mountain follow-up. I love this patience by Anakin. Gets into the, the range EXP drive. Burger. He has a license for that, you know. Right. I like it there. Keeping those pokes at bay, and this is big here. Anakin looking to close it out with a nice mid there and takes the matchup. Oh, down 4-2 counter hit. Yeah, gets a big counter hit out of that. Looking to get some extra damage and maybe close out this initial round. Slap box. Oh, oh no. gets the big hop kick. That up 4-3. Uh oh, goes right in the rage draw. All right, and this is not going to kill. I don't think it's going to kill. I don't think so either, but man, what Take if it does? Take this weight. One more mix-up. What's going to happen? Oh, oh no. my god! The delayed and the third delayed hit. Hop kick. And oh. we're going to a final, final round. round. Oh my god. Oh, Speed Kick's in a lot of trouble right now. Down one for the interrupt. Oh, 1-1 one, one That could've been it. Oh, Tsunami Kicks, he's trying to pick up a bar. Oh! oh he's gonna land it! He's gonna land it! He's gonna land it! Oh, he's gonna land it! Oh, my God! And Fuko takes it! Jesus. A miscalculation on the life bar there. Well, at 4-2. Anakin with a nice life lead here. Goes for the down back one again. Content with going for the lows here. He's gonna this close dude. it out. Harassing his kneecaps. There's no way. 4-2-0, oh, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Sorry, oh, that's going to hit. Yo, let's go. Wagging his finger. Is he dead, though? Yeah, he's dead. Not oh, dead. He's still oh, alive. my God. Still got a chance. And he was just wagging his finger at him. You got to beat him now. Oh, oh that's going to be it. You should have wagged your finger back in his face. No. No. First match, Losers Finals. Echo Fox, JDCR versus Stream Me Anakin. Down two to punish. JDCR trying to open. Take this round, block on the EX, not gonna be able to punish him. Oh, he's gonna run into that down four, two. Oh, oh got big him with the big again. Oh, oh the relax. Yeah, and, and now you are dead again to take a match from JDCR. This is the momentum he needs. Is that offense starting? Rage is available. Another down two needs to be really careful. They're running two. Sidestep again he was by waiting. JDCR, man. JDCR now on set point here. Oh, that might be it. Oh, that's definitely it. And, and JDCR eliminating Anakin. Anakin taking third place here in the tournament. I mean, these guys are true professionals. They're on Echo Fox for a reason. It should be no surprise that we're constantly seeing these guys in winners' finals, grand finals. I feel that there's a really good chance that we're just going to continue to see them until somebody steps up. No time, though. Someone's going to have to make a commitment here. Oh, oh, oh got him. Down and Saint two. is going to be your champion here. Oh, and let's CEO. go. Saint with the patience of a saint to take it. I'm pretty happy with my result this tournament. I feel like I started off the same way I did last year, where I lost to two Koreans, got third, and then went on a nice little run throughout the, uh, the tour. I'm looking forward to the next event, looking forward to getting a chance at these Echo Fox guys.